Hi guys and welcome back dreamers. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Dee and this is my adult coloring channel where we talk all things coloring and sometimes more. I want to thank all of you guys for stopping in to watch what I have for you. So grab a drink, put your feet up, keep coloring while you listen and we're going to get started. So today's video I want to and it was quite the feat, to be honest. I went through my Amazon list from last year, all my orders of all the coloring books I bought. In total, I bought, I think it was like 74, but the ones I kept came to, it come to 68 books. Now, today, I'm not showing you 68 books because not all of them were my favorites. But I have my top 10 of 2023 that... Uh, I want to share with you. Um, so let's get into that. So the first book I have is, and these are all my favorites that I still literally pull out almost all the time. Um, Alexander Franzese is Magical Chibi's coloring book. Um, it's a simple book. Uh, I use it for, pardon me, uh, marker coloring. And I have a lot of fun with it. And yeah, so that's one of my uh, top 10 of 2023. My next one is Spooky Cutie by Coco Lyle. Um, I have colored quite a bit in this book and there's so many pages I wanna color. Um, yeah, I just love all of this kind of cuteness and I love spooky stuff and I color this stuff all year round. So uh, Spooky Cutie is another one of my top 10 <clears throat> 50 mythical miniatures now I love mythical creatures so I could not leave this one out to be honest it's a camellia book um, and I love my mythical creatures I love anything camellia does really um, some books I don't get because I'm just I'm not into coloring flowers or mandalas or stuff but when she has characters and fairy houses and stuff I I absolutely love then you know it's a must on my on my list so 50 mythical miniatures by Camellia and Jacoba <clears throat> now last in 2023 I was introduced to RJ Hampson's work um, I didn't think I would like his stuff, but I actually fell in love with coloring R.J. Hampson's stuff. So, um, Moonlight Mischief was, I believe, my very first R.J. Hampson book I ever bought. And I fell in love with it. Um, oh yeah. I just gotta make sure I don't show you guys my completed page. Because I'm gonna show you guys my top ten completed or top 10 favorite pages from 2023. So that was R.J. Hampson's Moonlight Mischief. <clears throat> and then he came out with Lost and Found. And again, another favorite by him. Um, and <clears throat> he's got half the book in black backgrounds and subtle changes in the pages. And then there is the white backgrounds. Sure, there we go. If you want a link to any of these books, <clears throat> um, let me know down below in the comments. If you want a complete flip through, then I can share that with you as well. <clears throat> but this is Lost and Found by R.J. Hampson. Okay, moving on. Uh, another Coco Wild book that I love is Enchanted Gnomes. <clears throat> um, they came out with this book and another one again. I don't know how many times I can say I fell in love with pages, but um, yeah. So like I was saying, if you need any flip throughs, there are tons on YouTube of all these books I'm sharing. But if you'd like to see me do one, then I'll gladly do that for you. Just let me know in the comments section. And yeah. <clears throat> So that is Enchanted Gnomes by Coco Wyo. Um, another book I found, uh, it was just like a random book I found, but I 
absolutely love it. It's quite animal. It's by an artist or publisher named Lauren Kay. And it is AI, but this AI isn't bad. I mean, I, I really like it. I love the kawaii, the cuteness. I've colored, I think, three or four pages out of this one already. Um, I absolutely love it, so... So that's Quite Animal Coloring Book by Lauren Kay. Another Camellia book, <clears throat> and I mean, this book is wearing itself down because I've colored so many in this. 50 Vacation and Summer Fairy Houses. Um, I love anything to do with like summertime and kind of whimsical stuff, and this was literally right up my alley. I had to have it as soon as I saw it. Too cute. Oh, so adorable. I'm excited to keep coloring in it. I haven't finished, quite finished a single book in my 13, or, yeah, 13 years of coloring, but you never know. Anything is possible. 50 Vacation in Summer Fairy Houses by Camelia Andrakova. Then I found Cute Fantasy by Vivi Tinta. Um, she's, or this artist is new to me. <clears throat> and again, it's mythical creatures and I could not pass it up. So adorable. Oh my gosh. I couldn't not have it. Like when I bought it, it was kind of like on a whim, <clears throat> but I was hoping that I wouldn't be disappointed because I had a few, quite a few disappointments in 2023 with coloring books. And <clears throat> yeah, I absolutely, I was so happy with it, to be honest. So Cute Fantasy by Vivi Tinta. <clears throat> and the last one of my top 10 books is Quiet Town by Jade Summer. Uh, the artists are Crystal, J. Liu, and M. Wayne Miller. Zoe from Addicted to Coloring and myself are doing this book as a project book for the two of us. Um, so we have pages already picked out. <clears throat> so, yeah, we've colored a few already. <clears throat> we have another one in the works for um, March, I believe. February? March? No, March, yeah. But I really hope that uh, Jade Summer comes out with another book similar to this because we really, really, really enjoy doing these. And yeah, just love everything about it. <clears throat> so those are my top 10 of 2023. <clears throat> that um, I got and hopefully this year will bring us some new books and fun books like the ones we have here today so yeah that is my top 10 I know the video isn't very long um, <clears throat> I'm just thinking if I should do my top 10 pages with it um Sorry guys, had a little bit of a brain kind of moment, old timers moment I guess. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do my top 10 pages separate because I just wanted to do a video for my top 10 books. And then we will do another video for my top 10 favorite pictures completed in 2023. So I want to thank you all for stopping in. Sorry it wasn't a very long video, I just wanted to, I was excited about my top 10 took me a while out of 68 books I had to decide really <clears throat> but I finally got there and yeah so uh hopefully you can join me for my top 10 completed pages of 2023 and look forward to seeing you all again thanks guys have a great day be kind be safe happy coloring remember you're not alone hugs bye